Hello, Buzz and Cuts. My name is Hotsus here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time uh, we built a farm for thermal reeds to get rid of our polluted water. Uh, and we also started here on a setup for uh, a bit of mushrooms. Uh, as we don't have any um, slime, we have to let them naturally grow and we plant them using pips. And pips are the topic of today, because up here we already have let out uh, the, the farm for trees and uh, trees and pips go well together uh, because pips eat the tree branches they produce dirt and dirt is really useful um, so we will we will really make use of of that so let's see uh, we need arbor trees in here and probably um, the um, the uh, the tree farm will be complete at a very slow rate because uh, arbor trees do not regenerate so uh, either we get them out of the pot or um, we get them from out of space. I don't think uh, we will find any uh, natural drops in here. So probably our mushroom farm will be uh, uh, done way sooner than, uh, than our tree farm. Um, here we probably then also want to drop off the creatures and let's bring those over and that should also deal with the uh, situation where they constantly um, are rummage in, in our chests and uh, make a mess. But yeah, that will be the, the topic for today. Um, and side project that we will uh, also focus on is uh, having here a set up for oil. We have one reservoir there and one there we have a water supply there so i'm thinking first thing we need to uh, to ensure that we have the uh, a clean uh, basin for the water supply um, getting rid of of all the oil in in this area and uh, then we can start uh, producing the oil there and then here on um, on this side um, I'm thinking uh, we will continue pumping out the uh, oil here um, pumping that up to there where we um, on one hand to use a bit of uh, plastics um, but also um, have that then go to here and maybe what we should have here is those and then Connect these 
that way so we can control when they are running. And we can hook that up there. So we can also use the petroleum boilers, um, petroleum generators um, to produce the power. And for down here, uh, we will eventually use um, the uh, magma core here to uh, boil the, the petroleum and uh, um, get that uh, very efficient uh, way um, to get from crude oil to, uh, to petroleum. Uh, without the need uh, for our duplicants to do any manual labor. But as you can imagine, we are still some way off there. So we need to dig this out as well. Probably mop up as, as much oil as we, as we can. Then we will just see how much progress uh, we can make in this episode. Quite a bit of time has passed. There's still just on one tree, but it looks like uh, our uh, uh, pips are producing dirt, which which is good. On this side, we are running low on uh, the ethanol. Um, so basically, we could switch over uh, all, basically it's this pump and the, the rock crusher, um, hook it up on, on another line. So that's no big problem. Uh, I also started uh, replacing the carts with uh, nicer bedrooms. And we even have two additional bedrooms to spare uh, for additional uh, dupes. Because if we look at the at the calories, we do have enough. Uh, it's always a bit of a problem with, with this farm that we are running out of uh, of water when this geyser stops. So for that reason, I have. Uh, uh, three storage tanks here on the side and we can also pump in some water from uh, over here to get that going uh, down below we also had some some progress um, we're filling in here uh, all this space because we need a vacuum and uh, we will have basically this room um, for, the, for, the, for the production of our petroleum uh, just based on the on the magma down there and uh, it's a bit of a drawn out process here on this side we have the the water geyser um, or hot steam vent, uh, which is currently dormant. I'm not sure if this will work out because the steam that's coming out is 500 degrees. Um, but we will see. And then here we have a curious little lock uh, because we do not want to have a uh, crude oil spill over on this side and we have a bit of petroleum here on the top um, so the crude oil cannot push up the uh, the petroleum and if we have uh, the gas filter here we have two different gases here uh, chlorine and carbon so basically uh, the independent of how much pressure that we get crude oil it should not be able to uh, to uh, uh, spoil 
or push up here unless the petroleum boils into sour gas and then we have a whole other uh, mess going on here so doing a bit of uh, clean up here uh, so we can make our way to uh, this uh, oil reservoir we have uh, reached this one up here and uh, then I think we do have quite enough uh, uh, space to store the oil and probably we will control the uh, oil wells uh, with some automation so if we reach a certain level of, um, of um, crude oil in here we will we will stop um, stop uh, getting more and here we can see maybe uh, now is a good time to, to lock this one um, don't want to uh, have any steam escape and at least now in the beginning we are getting water uh, but we will have to see um, if this will work in in the long run um, here we do have a bit of uh, heat exchange from the uh, crude oil that is on the outside with um, 80 degrees and then steam here on the inside uh, which is at uh, 150 200 300 um, uh, we will have to see if this works uh, in the in the long run or if we have to figure out something different but i think we will just have to wait a bit longer yeah we'll take the steel and we do have more than four tons of steel but i disable the, uh, the refinery because our steam turbine is getting too hot uh, in order to cool things down um, and there is a cooling loop uh, let out in here we only have to attach uh, it to uh, to these ones uh, but for that we would have to have a uh, kind of a, a cooling setup going uh, which will probably be a project for a next episode or the one after but i think we will we will make a bit more progress before ending this episode hopefully get um, uh, one or two more trees in there in our farm um, we just have to wait uh, on lady luck to give us something in the printing pot well we have not made as much progress with our tree farm as i had hoped due to lack, lack of seeds uh, we made pretty good progress here uh, with uh, mushroom farms we have a few spores left so uh, uh, we can actually go about and plant the, the rest of them and yeah, it's it's one by one um, here we seem to be lacking a bit of uh, ooh, oxygen that does not look good um, we will have to deal with this but let's have a quick look uh, down here we started the uh, layout for the petroleum boiler and uh, it's not my own design it's uh, one by two legit city uh, i hope to uh, include the link to his um, channel video in the description uh, current problem is that for some reason we have carbon dioxide in here and uh, these window tiles they are a bit too hot 
they basically have the same temperatures as down here and this is not good because if we then fill in the crude oil that will flush to sell gas which is not good so maybe uh, we want to cool it down first uh, with a bit of water we have it separated here so the, there should not be any heat transfer from below to above but we want to cool uh, this blob of window tiles down to below 400 degrees that's uh, what we have set here on this control mechanism but that's it for now hope you enjoyed it and uh, tune in next time when we will hopefully finish this setup and uh, hopefully see a bit more trees um, uh, get get more things uh, going there all right, until then, goodbye.